What's up folks, Paula here, and welcome to another WoW log. Now, what is this? What is this? Oh, okay, I see. Yes. Right. What is it? Obtain 20... Victory for okay, I can just go ahead and hand this in. Our time okay, that was easy. 220 gold, very nice. Alright, so... First things first, I've updated my, or upgraded, my gem boutique and my alchemy lab. So let's go ahead and finalize these, check them out. Very fancy, very fancy, I like it. And the alchemy lab. I'm pretty sure these two plots were like vice versa. Alchemy Lab, level 3. Cool. It's like being in the Undercity. So, now that that's done... Look at this, she's even coming all the way down just to go back to the Alchemy Lab. I like that. That is cool. So yeah, those are my two new plots. So, one thing that's kind of bugging me is... Garrison Invasions. So, for those of you that don't know... You can get invasions to your garrison where the enemy will come and attack and try and destroy your buildings and stuff. Now... How may I aid you? Let me quickly... Hit the Shatterath. So... When you're... Leveling up in this first zone, I believe it is, you'll get a, you'll get a garrison invasion. This is part of the story, the quest, when, you, uh, when you're when you leveling up. And Iron Horde forces will come and attack. Actually, is it Iron Horde? No, it's not. It's um, just some uh, Horde tribe, which is a part of the Iron Horde. So they'll come and attack, and you'll have to defend it and all your guards are fighting, and while you're fighting there could be many events. You might draw the attention of a nearby creature, you might have alliance infiltrators try and sneak in and sabotage stuff, like plant bombs, and you have to defuse them. All sorts of cool stuff. Now, this is supposed to happen every so often, and after looking up on it, they say it happens when, in retaliation, for you attacking somewhere. So, there's various places on the maps, like every zone has an area where it's full of like elites, and you get apex crystals for killing them. So, this is one area here, and if we go to uh, Talador, okay, we're already in Talador, if you go to Nagrand, they've got an area up here, Shadow Moon Valley has one down here, basically where all the blue schools are, because that's where all the uh, elites are. Now, I've done this, and then they say it happens when you kill the same, you know, the, the same sort of faction mob over and over. So if I was to do a daily in an area, then it should trigger it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is my fourth or fifth time doing this particular area, because I've got a daily here. And still, still no quest that pops up. Wait, what's this? Oh, wait. Random quest there. An old friend. Hmm. I should check that out at some point. Oh, wait. There it is. Oh, wait. I was still missing a couple of... I should go and do that and see what the uh, cinematic is. Then again, we did the Legacy of Garrosh Hellscream. That was a cool cinematic. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed that so far I haven't had a new invasion. I'm going to keep trying. With any luck, it will work. We'll see. But, uh... Yeah, next time the invasion happens, I'll get it recorded and you guys will get to check it out. So... What I'm doing now is just trying to find a group to do my daily need a group because it's pretty hard, there's a lot of elites there. You could probably find one or two mobs to pick off, but uh, it's pretty, pretty rough. 
Now one cool thing is it's Tuesday so that means the servers have reset or they will reset at 9.59 to 10 and I'll be able to do Black Temple and Ice Crown Citadel again and hopefully I might get the uh, second Warglaive and the Invincible Mount, that's my goal. So when we're about to loot I'll make sure you guys can see Hopefully wish me some luck, and yeah, hopefully we can get something good. Seems no one's got any groups going, so okay. So much for that idea. Now for a little update on the progress of my ult. First of all, it's very quiet here in Ogrimmar. I guess it is early in the morning, but still, very, very quiet. A rare sight indeed. So, this is my Blood Elf Paladin, Valkor, or Valkor, I, I haven't really worked out how you actually pronounce the name, it's just a name I stole from a book, but there you go. So this is my Blood Elf Paladin, he's currently level 70, I'm making good progress on him. The way I worked it out is, if you're leveling with the 300% bonus from the recruiter friend, then when you get to about level 60, every Burning Crusade dungeon will get you about one level, I've found. So, basically every dungeon I complete I'll get a level, maybe a level and a half. So that's not too bad. So, me and my friend, we managed to get past all of the Burning Crusade contents, although we did mi we've did missed a couple of them, such as the Steam Vault opening the dot portal, which I would have liked to have done actually, and uh, the Architraz. And we figured we're best just to move on to the uh, Wrath of the Lich King content. Now we just completed Utgard Keep. Now we have the Nexus and Azob Nerub. So that the, thing, the reason why we're doing this is because every time we go into a new dungeon we haven't done before, we'll get quests. And with the 300% XP bonus, that's a nice XP boost for handing them in. So that's currently the goal. We've had to stop random, uh, randoming dungeons just because redoing the same dungeon doesn't really offer any benefits. So, apart from getting like a bag which does give you some nice level gear, which is extremely helpful. Uh, for instance, I believe I got... What did I get? I got this ring. Yeah. So I got this level item level 155 ring. Now look at all my other gear, you know, level 100, uh, 47, 64... 115. So a lot of this is Burning Crusade stuff, some of it's from vanilla. But as soon as we get onto the Raffle Lich King, my items get a huge item boost. And here's a necklace from one of the quests as a reward, level 146. So yeah, I need to uh, upgrade my gear a little. Although I f the weird thing was, when we did Utgard Keep, I found it easier to tank. I took less damage and it was just more manageable than some of the Burning Crusade dungeons that we just finished. So it's very odd. I, I just assume they've, they're have they better made, maybe. Better design. I mean, for sure they look nicer. If you go from Burning Crusade, from any dungeon in Burning Crusade or Vanilla, and go straight into the Wrath of the Lich King dungeons, you'll be amazed. Like, we went in... We just did uh, Magister's, Ter uh, Magister's Terence in Burning Crusade, then we moved on to do Utgard Keep, and the art style was just like leaps and bounds better in the uh, Lich King dungeon. It was amazing. Like, just the textures, everything. It was really nice. So, I'm looking forward to doing the rest of my levels now. It's been a while since I've done any. I've done a lot of the. I've done a lot of Lich King dungeons in the past, because I, I think that's the expansion I played the most of. So once I've done that, I'm looking forward to going back and doing some Cataclysm dungeons. Not too fussed about the Mr. Pandaria stuff, but uh, we'll get through it. And once this guy is level 90, I'm probably going to do a few like transmog runs with him, trying to get him some cool looking gear. Haven't exactly decided how I want him to look yet. I do like the Judgment Armor you can get from Blackwing Lair, however the problem with that is it does look a little bit weird on a Blood Elf Paladin, on a Blood Elf just because of their body shape. So there is other armor sets out there that I'm a bit more interested in. But yeah, all in all, this was just a little update on my ults. Things are going well. 
and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so after all that complaining I did about the lack of invasions, guess what? I now have an invasion ready to go. So, my apologies for that blizzard, my apologies. So before we start this, this invasion, I'm curious because I have a feeling that every NPC here will fight, but I want to sort of have a bodyguard with me. So who shall I take? I've got this guy, Lantreza the Blade, who is pretty badass I must admit, although I do have some companions that are really uh, kit geared out, really kitted out. But, um, I'll tell you what, I think I know who I want, let me go find them. There is an undead mage that's pretty cool, that I'd like to have by my side. Since I'm a deaf knight after all. Somewhere around here. Now, I have no idea where they've gone. Hmm. They could be around the tavern. Maybe. Just hanging out somewhere. I'll tell you what. We'll just take Benjamin Gibb. My fellow Death Knight. You ready for war? He looks pretty badass. So. so okay. That's done. Now the cool thing is to note is that during this invasion I'm going to have Knights of the Ebon Blade soldiers fighting for me. So we'll get to see if their skills are different from typical guards. So that should be pretty interesting. So okay. What do you need? Sergeant Grimjaw says there's a cold fire in my blood, Commander. Like a warlock has my heart in his claw. Let the Shadow Council show themselves. Quest objectives. Repel the Shadow Council invasion of your garrison. Okay, let's do it. For the horn. Blood and now, I can invite someone to come help me do this. I think up to two other people, similar to a scenario. However, I've got no friends online, so I'm gonna do this solo. But that's fine. It's fine with me. I'm ready. I am ready. Let's do this. Sir, an attack on our garrison looms close. I have commissioned some items that you may find useful. Whoever these fools are, I welcome the chance to earn another scar. And there is my raid. Hmm. Choices. Uh, leave Q. I may end up regretting that later because that was a pretty short Q for the new uh, first wing of the new raid, which has just been added to Raid Finder, but whatever. We've got a battle to, fa a battle to win. Strength. Okay, the battle has begun. Get all the workers, civilians, and non-fighters inside. Oh, but I was going on. The Council, the demons, sound the alarm. Oh wow, this guy's just changed colour. See, the one I did wasn't the Shadow Council, it was just like some orc tribe. So this is cool, the demons are coming. Never fire, burns in the sky. All the workers, they run somewhere to hide. I think they go into the mine, or they go around the corner there to stay safe. Whoa! I just saw one of my best fighters run out here, where'd he go? Oh I see, I see. All the uh, the workers, the peons, come up here to stay safe. And then we have my followers actually defend them. That's cool, I like that. Good job guys, I'll let you off. I thought you were running away. I apologise if my voice goes in and out as I do this. I'm still recovering from a bit of a cold and cough, so I don't want to cough into the mic, so I do apologise in advance. 
I'll edit it out, but just in case it sounds like I'm speaking kind of weird, that's why. I got a tickle in my throat. I'm trying to not succumb to and start coughing because we got a battle ready to go. So don't let the dark sky fool you. This is a good day. Ah, so Sergeant Grimjaw is ready for a fight. And here they are. Kill them all. They're gonna try and bring down our buildings. We can't let them. Victory points. I haven't seen this before. Kill the demons. Yeah, my bodyguard's running around with me fighting. That's pretty useful. I should have done all my uh, mining and stuff so I can see, you know, points on the map a bit clearer, but it's fine. Oh, my death knights are out, ready to fight. Where are they coming to next? Let's prepare. There they are. Kill them. A terrified worker is caught in the open. We've got to go save him. Go, 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 go. You'll get little mini events during this where. Alright. Run! Run! Go, go, go! Is he following me? Zuck, zuck. So, another little mini event's called This Creature Down. Let's go take care of it. My death knight's doing some work, always good. I wonder if there's like an optimal uh, guard to have, or if they're all the same. Like, a, cer a certain reputation faction has better skills than the rest. Ooh, blood and honor, what's this? Just got a bit of a buff. Rally. Nice. I've just rallied everyone. They've got damage increase. To the battle, my friends. Make sure no garrison building falls. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot more guards. I think they spawn when the battle actually starts. A storm of infernals appear. Alright, we'll go take care of them. Bring them down, bring them down. They actually kind of hurt. A nefarious consort is assaulting your forces. Alright, take these down, we'll go after them. Alright, come on my friend, let's go. Get over here. There we go. Got another buff. Are all our buildings standing? Seems so. Oh, look at my god. Cool, my guards, wow. A terrified worker's caught in the open. God damn it. They have to do one thing when the invasion alarm sounds. Where are you going? Great hall. Okay, this way. This way, come on. So 
Let's have a quick look in here. Yeah, look, all, all the workers come in here to stay safe. That's cool. I like that. <coughs> I like that. It's kind of like a bunker. You go there to be safe. Another creature has turned up. Sometimes you'll get Alliance uh, infiltrators as well. They'll plant bombs in your buildings. You've got to take care of them. Let's go take care of this creature. Come on, Gib. Let's do it. There we go. And that, that buff, which gives you 100% damage and movement speed, it gets given to every single guard you have, so they'll basically just kill whatever they're fighting very quick. Very useful indeed. Other entrance now. Luckily they're going to where Sergeant Grimjaw is, he can hold his own. Bit of an FPS drop there, but we're okay, we're okay. Still fighting. Nefarious consort is assaulting your forces. Alright, where is she? Oh, she's coming around this way, perfect. You may have demon magic. I have the power of the undead. I know that you can get different ratings for depending on how well you do. I wonder if I need like 500 or something. Hang on, I'm gonna go help him in a second. I wanna try and... Clear up this mess here. Alright, let's go get the worker. Core hound, go! Where is he? He's running around. Doombringer, bring him down. Gotta get this guy to the Great Hall. There's a Rylak here now. Maybe it's a thousand, I honestly don't know. There's another room for one more digit, so I wonder if it's like up to a thousand. So we're only about halfway if that's the case. But I'm only guessing. I need to go and take care of that before it destroys any of my buildings. assistance. I see a Doombringer, let's take it down. I'm taking a bit of damage here, I need to heal up. More Infernals have arrived. Now I can see why doing this with a friend would be more, <laughs> would be easier. I hope all my guards are alive. Stage 4 clean up. I didn't realise we'd even gone for any of the stages. Defeat the remaining foes. Easy. I wonder if I can get up to a thousand kills. Or victory points. 
it's 700 and what 50 by the time we're done unless these only count as one stage five go to the town center okay we're getting there nice we're getting some bonus victory points because uh, buildings are still still intact wait there's more fire from the skies defeat the abyssal invader oh wow all right let's do it Come on forces, rally behind your commander. We've gone through the dark portal once before. We defeated their kind. We can do it again, come on. My sword Armageddon. Cleave this monstrous mountain. Done, come on. A bit more. A bit more. Come on, one more one more obliterates, there we go. Nice. What? Oh, I was about to say I only got bronze. Oh, okay. Silver. I guess if I got a thousand points I'd have had gold. But I didn't quite make it. Still. It's not bad. Well, there you have it. Good job, everyone. That was the... Yeah, didn't quite make it. That's a shame. We did well. I don't think we lost any buildings. If your buildings do get destroyed, I believe you have to use garrison resources to repair them. But yeah, that was my first, you know, invasion, which was cool. So, outside of the story one. Wow, we beat back the demons, Commander. My blood stills, my blood still boils from... Okay, from it. I can't read. My eyes aren't turning red, are they? No, you're okay, matey boy. Up skies change back. There we go. That was a good fight. I'm surprised you don't get any reward. Oh, wait, I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. Look, here. Invaders damaged cash. 55 gold, 35 garrison resources. Cool, okay. That was good, that was good. Thank you, Benjamin Gibb. That was uh, pretty hairy, but we did it. Okay, one thing I'm curious about. I've got this Supreme Manual of Dance. Teaches a follower the dance trait. So I got this from doing a uh, mission. I'm wondering who to try, uh, send it to. Alright guys, you can get out of here now about the work. Back to work. Get back in the mine. Goblin filth. Okay. Who would be a cool dancer? She was the one I was trying to find, but I didn't know where she was. One of my favourite... Uh, one of my first... Epic... Followers. Who would make for a cool dancer? Lorca. She looks like she'd be. Ooh. She'd be a good dancer. Yeah, let's do that. Whoa, did I just replace her trait? Crap, I didn't realise that. Damn. Oh well. That's fine. Anyway, that's it for this wow log. Hope you enjoyed that invasion. I know I did. Make sure you join me next time, and hopefully I can show you some good loot from Ber from uh, not Burning Crusade, from the Black Temple and the Lich King. Also, hopefully we'll be able to check out the Raid Finders' uh, latest raid, so that should be good. Anyway, until then, thank you for watching.